All right, so, man, we got OG Lil Dog back in the building. How you doing today, Big Cuz? Oh, it's all good, baby. Yes, sir. Okay. So, man, our last interview, honestly, right now, is steadily growing. Um, but I'm getting a lot of demand for, like, hey, we want more OG Lil Dog content. So, oh, okay, okay. Um, a lot has kind of happened since the last time we seen each other. One of the first questions I wanted to ask you, somebody in the comments was like, hey, ask him ask him a little bit more about you know the dealings that they had and like what relationship do mexicans play on the north side it was a couple of uh uh mexican sets over there that uh that we was click tight with it was like uh let see 15th street they rode with crips uh it's another set too they rode with crips uh, then the east side latin kings we was click tight and uh we rode together so you know not every mexican gang was against us we had some that were our allies that we rode together right okay so let me ask you this this actually a big debate right now online and i feel like it's new but i want to know your opinion okay so mexicans using the word What's your, uh, what's your outlook on it? Because I'm, I'm going to just preface it with this. Okay. From the time that I can remember, okay. they always been saying it. And it right. was never really like a big deal. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But now it seems like in the internet age, it seems like a lot of black people have a problem with that now. Right. So what's your outlook on it? Man, uh, really, it depends on how it comes out their mouth, too. Like if they just on some kicking it, you know what I'm saying, uh, my nigga, or you know, shit like that. Then you know, I ain't doing no tripping. But if it's on some, hey, nigga, you don't want some disrespectful, then you know. But uh, bro, I ain't tripping on no words, bro. That's that's just what it is. They really uh uh our culture. You know what I'm saying? It's right. really black and brown intertwined with each other anyway, bro. So they damn near our brothers. They got our blood in them anyway. Right. Okay. Okay. And I kind of, I, I feel what you're saying, bro. I just, like I said, it's crazy how, and of course it depends on how you use, but I always say it like this, and it's even some white boys that I feel like I've heard say it, and okay. because of how they are, okay. and like maybe where they grew up, and, right. and like, to me, you can tell when somebody just started saying that word, right. or if they've been saying it their whole okay, life. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because honestly, Black people don't even really just overly my nigga, my nigga, my nigga. right? But right. it's ca it's just a casual part of our lingo, right? Right. So right. you know what I'm saying, right? So when it's like that for them too, I usually just look like they they just say it. So right. Okay. So now let's talk about the north side. Let's talk about Fautre a little bit. Okay. Um. Some it was it was somebody who asked me like, bro. What was the was the initiation process for everybody? Like, did everybody have to get put down, or could you be blessed down, or like, how did that go? I know you said you got jumped in, yeah, but you know how how did that go as years went on? No, uh, it wasn't no walk-ons. Everybody's <laughs> been put on, or uh, 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 did something. You know what I'm saying to get put on, or. You know, so, nah, it wasn't no walk-ons. It wasn't no blessed on just because you was from over there. Uh, you were, you know, but nah, uh-uh. Nah, nah, so it wasn't you. Was, everybody got put on. Right, okay, okay. So I hear, like, a lot of some people, I can't remember what set it was, but they, like, whatever they set number, let's say it's five dudes. Okay. They'll usually, I've heard people say, oh, well, it's 52 seconds. Of, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Is it yeah, something yeah. like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We'll put them in the blender for 43, 43 seconds, you know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. And yeah. so is, do you catch one-on-ones or is it? Uh, we put, you know what I'm saying? It, we, we ain't going to try to uh, 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 max them out or nothing, but you know what I'm saying? We're going to shoot two, three little homies at you or something, you know what I'm talking about? Right, right, right. And, uh, you know, they get in that blender. Okay. So let me ask you this, and this is honestly just my curiosity as far as somebody who has who ain't a part of that. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Is is the overall point of that to try to make sure that person got some dog in them? Right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Right. Okay. Cool. 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 So, I, so, 
back in the 90s, back in the Myrtle Worth days, I know you said it was all out war. It was it was crazy. Right. Um, I seen when I was doing my research, I seen like sometime in the 90s, there was like a truce. Right. In the, was it in the county or something like that? Okay, yeah. So what happened with that was uh, <clears throat> some of the homies that was locked up, they were trying to be, and, uh, what, what, what it was and how that even came apart was that uh, it was so much going on. And that, so they came to them and asked them would they participate in that, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the homies that was locked up, they participated in that. Right. And the thing was to get them to get on board with it and see if that would trickle down to the streets. Right. And uh, not everybody was with that because it was just so much uh, 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 death had already happened. So a lot of the a lot of the sets around Fort Worth wasn't, wasn't feeling that. Right. OK. So let me ask you this. Out of all all the war that there was in the 90s. Which which two sets had the most like conflict? Who was at it the worst? Um, ah uh, man, it's hard. It's hard to say who was at it. Like just right. that set and this set was just at it because uh, everybody it was, was getting busy. Yeah, it was just whatever. It was just going down. Right. Yeah, okay. It was just going down. So let me ask you this: Were you was there ever a situation where? There might be two separate sets, and then Fotray cool with both of them. Like Fotray, so Fotray is like cool with both of them, or was it was it usually just like a every man for itself type deal? As far as are you talking on uh, on the on the Crips side, yeah, yeah, or? like it could even be. Let's say, and we're gonna even get into this later, but let's say there's a Crip on Crip set. Like a crib set versus a crib set, and y'all cool with both of them, but they at it with each other. Well, uh, in the uh, really, our set. See, uh, a couple of our homies got by uh, uh, five deuce. Okay. And uh, now I know a whole bunch of hoovers. And I'm cool with them, and some of them I call my brothers. So, the little homies. Now, this wasn't this wasn't in our era of uh, of uh, banging. Right. So the little homies, they were into it. Right. So it was faux tray uh, 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 against five deuce, but it wasn't the whole set. Right. It wasn't the whole set. Okay. Yeah. So, so it, it it wasn't did it it didn't trinkle like it didn't have a trinkle effect to it made where it made both sets be at war with each other. No, it was on some like uh, the homies. You know what I'm saying? If they they homies whatever you know what I'm saying, they would be like, hey, you know, we was trying to really dead it, but uh, people had got right. So it was just on some like really, you know, bro, just. Them little, you know, they, they active, they turned up. So, you know what I'm saying? Just on some, man, stay out the way, really. You know what I'm right. saying, bro? Hey, hey, you know, I ain't, but, you know, stay out the way, bro, because that's what it was. You know what right. I mean? Okay, yeah. so let me ask you this, and that's that's interesting you bring that up, because now I want to kind of ask, like, I notice, not even with just you, but, you know, okay. any any city that has a, like, a, I'll call it a rich gangbanging culture. Okay. All of them kind of share that sentiment. Like when when somebody that take it to a uncontrollable level. So right. when somebody lose their life, I mean, this question almost comes off as obvious, but I just I think it's important to get on camera. Okay. Like, how does that elevate a beef to where it's unsquashable? Yeah, it uh it it elevates it all the way, man, one hundred percent. Because uh, I mean, you can't tell somebody how to feel and you can't tell them how to mourn right so you know you never know what's on a person's mind and how he felt about that person or you know so nah it's just like that's just no it, it's no coming back from that it's no coming back from it yeah. once somebody once blood is shed right so and that's 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 crazy or not crazy but that's 
that's kind of chilling to me, bro, because I'm kind of tapped into the Chicago culture. Okay. I got a homie who actually do this same thing, okay. but he do it on a big scale. Like, have you ever heard of King Von? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he he him. got King Von's like first interview or whatnot. Oh, but okay. uh, you know, I was on a live with him one time, and I because the killing is so much out there okay. that I'm like, bro, you know, from an outside looking in perspective, okay, it sucks to watch. You know what I'm saying? Because right. y'all got a lot of talent out there. And, right. bro, you'll get on a rapper from Chicago, and then two weeks later, he, like, they oh, really okay. killing. Like, oh. we really, they really killing here, too, for okay, sure. Right. But they, they, they doing that, too, out there. And okay. uh, I asked him, I said, bro, you really don't think the beef can squash that, like, die down? You okay. don't think they could ever squash it? And he... He put it into perspective for me because they kind of tired of that question. Okay. And uh, he said, bro, you got a brother, right? I was like, yeah. He said, okay, imagine somebody kill your brother. Right. And uh, not only do they kill your brother, but they get away with it. Okay. And then now they running around the city bragging okay. about it because right. the streets talk. Right. The streets know what's going on. Right. And somebody's asking you. Come on, man. Can you sit down and squash it with this man? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And when he, when I thought about it like that, I'm like, damn, probably not. Right. Right. He probably he got a d to me, like you know right. what I'm saying. That's yeah. how I would feel. Right. So, and that's right. me yeah. not being a street dude. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah. I I understand that. So, okay. Um, another question I had about just faux trade because I'm as I'm learning more, even through you. Okay. Is I know Faux Trey land is the north side. Right. And then I would say another Faux Trey land, a mini Faux Trey land is Echo Heights. Right. And then, of course, you got the Faux Trey side of the south side. Right. Are all of those one? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, we are one. Okay. It's uh, uh, we Faux Trey. And uh, the thing is, how we came up, it was like, you know how they try to like be like, oh, this is a, a, a Northside folk tray, or I'm a Echo Heights folk tray, or I'm Southside folk tray. Right. Now nah, we just folk tray gangster crib. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But the uh, the hood part got put into it just to, you know, you know, just to let you know this where we you from. know that's where I'm from. Right. Uh, this where they from, and that's where they from. But now nah, we we up under the same umbrella. Right. 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 Because I would think of it like. You know, and correct me if I'm wrong, but one person came and started Faux Trey. Like, one person brought it here from L.A., right? Mm -hmm. And then, this is what I was going to ask you, because, boom, you know, I was honestly, I ain't going to lie to you, I was expecting okay. on the internet, because okay. people love to do this for for so many people to come out, he wasn't the first to be put okay. on, he wasn't the first to be put on, okay. he wasn't, a, but not one person has disputed that fact. Okay. So... Was there people from Fort Worth? Maybe we we know on the north side you took it to the north side. Yeah. But and you said and you even gave one of your partners credit too as well. Like we brought it to the north side. Right, right, right. But um, as far as was there people? Was Fortray already expanded here before y'all two got down on the north side? No, it was about uh, when when I got down, it was about seven. Okay. And when they was what, from the south side? Yeah. Okay. From the south. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, from the south and uh, uh, one was from Echo Heights, but like you say, uh, like I say, we, that's where we stomped the north at, on the south right. side. We right, stomped right. on the south side. Okay. Right. Okay, cool. So um, do, you, do you know anything about that person from L.A. who brought it here? Uh... <clears throat> I mean, yeah. I mean, he's my partner. You right. know what I mean? Okay. He's my partner, and uh, 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 he ble he got blessed, and right. then he, you know, and he blessed us. Right. Okay. Cool. Cool. So let me ask you. Let me ask you this. At this time, I know this is you know late eighties, early nineties, maybe. Um, you know, here in Fort Worth, Texas, especially people coming from LA, they might look at us as country or, okay. you know what I'm saying, something like that. So let me ask you this. How are y'all looking at this LA dude that's bringing that down here? Are y'all looking at him like, man, what this fool talking about? Are y'all like, okay, like... No, you know. because it wasn't like, uh, it wasn't like he just came at us like, right. 
hey, y'all I'm going to put get y'all down. down or, right, right, right. Or, uh, y'all going to be crips. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was just, we was stumping on the South. They, you know what I'm saying? They from the South and, and shit, it just happened. Just, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Just, yeah. Like, yeah, just yeah, over time, yeah. kicking it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we running in the same circles right. and shit like that. So it, it just happened. Right, right, right. You know, it just yeah. yeah. And right. it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to put you on, you right. know? It was just on some shit like we was kicking it one day, uh, then shit, and cuz, get out there. And right. boom, boom, and there it was. Right, you right, know right, right. I didn't even know it was coming. Right, right, right. Yeah. It was just like, okay, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now, I want to talk about faux tray. Let's talk about LA for a minute, right? Okay. okay. Um, I know I sat I sat you down the other day, um, and we kind of watched we watched uh, Crib Mac. Shout out to Crib Mac, Five Five Crib. Yeah, <laughs> he funny. Shout out yeah. to uh, Brick Baby from Rolling Sixties. Oh, really? Shout out to bro. Um, the faux tray. The faux tray in L.A., because here's the main thing that I see from L.A. guys okay. when they talk about Texas banging okay. or out-of-town banging, okay. which is out-of-town banging for them. A lot of them feel like, hey, we don't know our history. We don't know our knowledge. Right. Now, I'm going to give you two schools of thought. There's one school of thought that says, yeah, you're right. We should know that since it came from there. Right. Then I heard O.G. Percy say on the internet interview, you know, hey, with all due respect, this ain't L.A., okay. this Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. We got our own literature and and history and okay. knowledge and all of that. Okay. So how you feel about that? Well, <clears throat> the way we got put on, we got put on right, bro. Right, okay. You know what I mean? Uh, we know our history. We know right. where it come from. You know what right. I'm saying? Right, right. And uh, uh, we've been up there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so y'all done been on 43rd Street. Yeah, a lot yeah. of the homies done been up there. You know right. what I'm saying? Uh, we locked in with some of the homies from Cali. We talked to them. You know right. what I mean? And uh, they come down here. You know what I'm saying? And when they come down here, we show them the blue carpet. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We roll it out for them. And the same way up there. Right. You know what I'm saying? They roll it out for us. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh, that's lit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's We live. done been up there on full trade day. They done been down here on full trade day. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, far as the politics and how we crip, oh, it's a little different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause they are, they are at odds. They don't fuck with crips. Don't fuck with crips. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they've been at war. Right. Down here, you don't see that as much. Right. You know what I'm saying? We kick it with other crips. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So. Yeah. No. Nah, look, I. I've heard Brick Baby before say, I've heard him say both. I've heard him say, you know, the one thing I respect about Texas is Crips is Crips for the most part. And right. they rock with each other. Right. And then I've kind of heard him downplay that same thing in the next clip. So um, I feel like this. I feel like, like you say, like, shit, we, you know, y'all do it the right way. You mm. know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. kind of tapped in with the history right. of, of, you know, right. of what y'all doing. So. Right. Um, let me ask you this, as far as the idea, because there's a clip of Brick Baby I showed you the other day, mm -hmm. and he was talking about like, you know, that out of town banging, like, um, a rolling 60 and a five deuce can't, you know, right. can't be, can't right. be in the same building, but right. they can down there. So it's right. not real. Right. So what's your response to that? That's real, homie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's cripping real down here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, what y'all got going on down there is what y'all got going on. What we got going on down here is what we got going on. You know what I'm saying? Right. And uh, we grown, homie. You know what I'm saying? And niggas just right. on some grown man shit. One of my cousins told me at one point. Shit, it was it was uh he said it was what Treyway or No Way or Treyway or right yeah now you know we screamed that you yeah. know what I mean we screamed it just like other sets they scream it you know right. what I mean but uh if it's if it's if it's not going on like that man if we not at war man we on some grown man shit man because yeah. you might have to uh uh uh, uh, uh work with somebody from another set you might have to you know what i'm saying it's it's man we on some grown man shit man yeah 
Yeah, real talk. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing that OG Percy said that I wholeheartedly agreed to when they was kind of trading those type of videos, because OG Percy was responding. Okay. But when they was, OG Percy pretty much was saying like, bro, um, that's the same way you think it's whack right. that we right. rock with other right. groups. Right. I think it's whack right. that every headline I see out of LA Post. is this crip versus this crip, yeah. this crip versus right. this crip, this crip versus this okay. crip. Like they like we can stop killing each other yeah, and we don't man. gotta be yeah. yeah. And then and, and and let me say this. I know what sets fuck with what sets and what sets is not supposed to be fucking with what set. But this is four word, homie. Right. Uh if it ain't going down like that, it just ain't going down like that. Right, right. And so if he was, and I'm just playing devil, devil's advocate for the sake of this interview and for content. Okay. If, if, if what if he was to respond, you know, well, blood has been spilled here. Right. Over it. So right. it should carry on down to y'all since y'all banging our sets. Nah, it ain't rocking like that, right. homie. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. So uh, now let's talk about C-Mac. Let's talk about Crip Mac because he actually is on record. He said himself he lived in Houston. Crip okay. Mac is 5-5 Crip. Okay, That's, okay. Uh, yeah, he to me, he he's hilarious, okay. bro, like more than anything. Okay. But um, he said he lived in Houston for a while. Okay. And he said some rolling 60s packed him out. Okay. And I, I feel like he a real one for, for, for telling the truth. Okay. And, and instead of saying, oh, I whooped six of them or whatever, he said, no, nah, they rolled me. They, okay. they packed me out. Okay. Because he was kind of trying to tell them that same thing, but face to face, like, hey, I'm from, I'm from Cali and okay. this cripping y'all doing ain't real because y'all cool with Hoovers. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. And we Hoover kids because we neighborhood crips. Okay. And so he said, they was like, what? Just beat him up and was like, nah, oh, okay. bro, this how you know this okay. how we coming. All right. So, um, what's your opinion of Crip Mac? We you don't even ha it don't even have to be about because he also has said before like he feel like the out of town banging ain't real okay. cripping or blooding because it ain't you know because they don't abide by the laws that they do there. But okay. just his overall character, like, what do okay. you think about him? Shout out to the homie, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever uh, floats your boat, homie. Yeah. But uh, it's it's real here, homie. It's real here. Recently on um on No Jumper with C Mac and uh Brick Baby, uh Fort Worth had somebody there. It pretty much was you know a crip or whatnot. Uh, but this person identifies as a gay crip. Okay. And um. I kind of showed you parts of the interview. Right. Um, what were your thoughts about that being the representation of Crippen in Fort Worth? Man, I was so mad when you were showing me that video because I was talking to the f TV. <laughs> yeah, it had me so mad because that that's misrepresentation of man, Texas, man, of Fort Worth, period. Right. You know, uh, too many people done died. Too many people are locked up. And they were making a mockery out of cuz. Right. And I didn't like that. Right. And for that, like, he's like, that's not no spokesperson for cripping in folk work. Right. I just, I, I didn't like that. Uh, and that's not, that's not. That's not that's not what's rocking down here. We're not rocking like that. Right, 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 right. Now we're gonna preface this for just for the sake of everybody, our listeners, to say we don't have a problem with the with the young man's sexual orientation. Oh no. We don't, we no. don't, we don't got a problem with the orientation. I oh, think no. even me, and I'll go on record, even me, somebody who's not a crip, not a gangbanger, I feel like whether it's toxic or not. Our Fort Worth gangs is part of that's part of who the city is. That's part of our culture. Right. And like you said, it's people that didn't died. It's our culture too rich to be watered down in that way and made a joke of in that way. Right. Now, that's not even to say that bro ain't from over there. Right. He that he he very well might be from from the south side, from that area of the south side. But um I just know that um with that kind of with that picture with with that with that individual and uh OG Percy 
And, you know, OG Percy, as far as a crip in Texas right now, okay. he's the face. Like, right. he's the, you know what I'm saying? So right. it's kind of like, damn, if OG Percy stamping it, maybe that is how they rocking it for work. Well, let me just say this and let me just clear this up. I'm, I don't have no problem with how you choose to do what you do or anything. Right. I'm not speaking on that situation. All I'm speaking on is I recognize they was making a mockery out of him. Right. What was he? He was there to try to promote his music. He was there to try to, you know, let y'all know what he had going on. And it seems to me it was just y'all was just there making fun of him. Right. And that's what pissed me off. Right. 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 So. Okay, so let me ask you this. Um because one thing he did in a long, a, one thing he did in that interview is he made it a point to say, "Hey, I'm as gangster as the next person. I'm just I'm For just sure. like this." For sure. So, let's say first of all, Brick Baby kind of told him like, "Well, look, there's no such thing as a gay crip here in California." Okay. Um, to your knowledge, is there a such thing as a gay crip in Fort Worth, Texas? I mean, he's the Before, first. Right, that he would be the first. Okay. I know, but right. hey, man, uh, it's a whole bunch of uh, in the closets and scared to come out the closets. Right. I applaud him for even coming out and saying it. Right. You know what I mean? Right, being himself. Yeah, he being Real himself. And All me, these other, y'all hiding. Right. Yeah. Right. So uh, let me say this too. I respect I respect I respect the man's business sense. He got a he got like a a network that he does his own reality show. Oh, okay. Him and his homegirls and they be fighting and all of that type oh, of yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I applaud the, I applaud the man's business acumen for sure. Like oh, really? like like that part of it. Oh, really? I I applaud. I just like I said, I'm not a I'm not even a gang member and I just didn't like how, like you said, how they was making a mockery right. of it because right. that's, like I said, that's, like you said, that's not, that's not the reality here in Fort Worth. That's right. So back to my question. Okay. Let's say it's a real, it's a, it's, it's a gangster. He, he gangster. He, he kind of flamboyant like that too, though. So he not even like a manly dude. He's real girly, but he'll, he'll do whatever, okay. you know what I'm saying? Okay. He, and he's like, man, I want to get down. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all, because, and he's openly gay. Do y'all let, do y'all let him in or do y'all just be like, ah, it's all good, bro. And I'm going to preface this by saying this. I've heard some of them LA dudes say, which is crazy for them to say that, oh, we ain't never, we don't have gay cribs because or not him, somebody else from L.A. was saying sometimes they'll have them type of dudes down with the set okay. because in the prison, you know what I'm saying, they can kind of maneuver them in prison. I don't know what kind of crazy stuff they be having going on in there, but they, they can kind of have a way, you know, not with them, but just like. Yeah, well, uh, and and. and. And let, let me clarify to you what he's what he's saying when he says that. Uh, in the prisons, they can maneuver and make money off of them. Is right. what they really say. Right, right, right. They'll uh, 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 sell him or, right. or, or rent him out right. or you know stuff like that. Right. Yeah, okay. That's what he means. Pretty much pimping. Really pimping them. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. So. Man, now let's talk about let's talk about prison for a little bit. How long did you have to do in prison? I did five years. Five years, yeah. like flat. Yeah. Damn. What from what what years? Yeah, I left in the, after I got shot in ninety two. I left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I came back. I got out. I did the five. I got out, and I wasn't out uh, a year, and I went back and did three. And I haven't been back since. Right. Okay. Okay. So that's that's crazy. That's crazy to me because I remember, like I remember you as a as a kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna start off this segment by saying, man, we are not promoting prison. Um, I like OG Percy's stories, and he sometimes get a bad rap because people say, well, he's promoting prison. Okay. 
in this, we're not promoting prison. Whatever we say is really to try to keep somebody who's trying to throw rocks at the prison right. to maybe hear this and say, yeah. oh, no. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Okay. Did you... What was prison like for you when you first got there? Like, like I know you said in the last segment, last interview we did, like if you, if you, if you, if you certified, at least I guess during these times, if you certified, you don't necessarily even have to introduce yourself when you come on there because people already know who you are, where you're from, and all of that. Well, you know, if you're coming off the streets and right. you file on a unit where you got homies, you know, they gonna know who you are. But like, soon as you come through the door, you know what I'm saying, could get off the bus. You know, you might see somebody you know, and they gonna let you know, hey, uh, your homie on that way, or your homie down there, or, right? You know, so you know, it's gonna they gonna let you know what's going on, you know, what the what the weather is like, right? Okay. It's going down over here, or, or you know what I mean, right? Yeah, they gonna let you know. Okay, so take us through your first like when you. So I'm guessing you in the county. And right. then you they 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 bring the bus right, and then you hop on the bus right. So what was the bus ride like? Like was you, what was the bus ride like? It was uh, it was uh, man, it was crazy because uh, you know you hear all the stories from some of the older homies that have been to prison before, right? And you know some of the old school in the county, and you know as soon as you get there, you go out to. Or when you go out to do this, that, you know, so it's quite natural you're going to have butterflies because it's right. a brand new experience. Right, right, right. But uh, is the word scared an appropriate term? Yeah, I mean, okay. yeah, you know, I ain't ashamed that's to say real. it. No, yeah, that's just real. No, that's, bro, know? that's real. Like, yeah. that's real. I ain't ashamed to say it because you're going, you, you, it's something you, I've never did. I had right. never, so yeah, I, you know, I had butterflies. I was scared. I didn't know what to expect. Right, right, right. So you on the yeah okay. So you on the bus, and uh, how long is the drive to the prison you going to? Uh, it depends on uh, it depends on. Uh, back then, we were going to uh, uh, what they call them transfer facilities or. But yeah, I went to uh, the first time I went to Tennessee Colony. And the second time I went to uh, Abilene, but uh, I mean, shit, however long it take to get, get, get from Fort Worth to Tennessee College. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, so what's that like? What three hours? Hey, yeah. I, I guess. So know, let me yeah. ask you this: Do they have you shackled on it? Do they yeah, have you, you shackled? You shackled to another person. Right. Yeah, you shackled to another person. Okay. So are these people? These are all people coming from Tarrant County with you. Exactly. Okay, so you might know some of these people. Yeah. Okay. The dude you shackled up with, do you know him? I don't even remember who I was shackled to. Right. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think I knew him. Right. I don't okay. Think I knew him. I can't remember who he even yeah, was. Yeah, you remember him if you knew him. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let me ask you this, because I and this is just stuff I always wondered. What's the mood like? Because some of us know, some of us are going down here and saying, okay. Man, I, I got five years. Some of us going down here, I got 40. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Is the mood different? Or? Yeah, it's a different mood because you got some people that have already been to prison. Right. So they kind of lacing you up. Yeah, it's going to be like this or yeah, it's going to be like that. And then a lot of people that hadn't, like I hadn't. Right. So I'm really, I'm not doing no talking. I'm just listening and right. thinking and and. I'm already, I wish a motherfucker would, you know what I'm right. saying? In my mind, I'm getting myself up to that kind of, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm finna have to show somebody would. in this. Right, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and it wasn't even that, bro. Okay. It wasn't so, even that. Okay, so you touch down. They kind of, I'm assuming you touch down. They show you your cell. Um, as far as a cellmate, do you have a cellmate? Do you have a cellie? Yeah. Were uh -huh. you, okay, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. And so... A lot, I've heard people say, man, sometimes your silly could be a blood or, That's right. or a complete op. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, most instances, uh, but for the most part, like, uh, when you go down, uh, you go through a, a process. Right. You go through processing. Right. And so they got your jacket, which is your file, mm -hmm. and they know where he from this set, he from here, or he from there. 
or do you have any enemies or do you can you be in the cell you know they ask you right and so for the most part man if uh you know you on some well now nah, i can't be in the cell with no blood they're not gonna put you in there right 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 but if you on some now nah, uh, uh i ain't got no enemies you know what i mean because yeah, you really don't want to get right you know what i mean you really don't want to get locked up off the rip right coming in through the door right 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 so uh you know you want some no, nah, you know, I'm good. No, nah, I ain't got no enemies. Uh, you know what I am, but, you know, no, nah, I ain't on that. You know what I mean? And so you're trying to get, you know what I'm saying, situated. You're trying to get housed properly. Right. Okay. Yeah. And this is 92. This is 92. So, yeah. so the gang war everywhere, L.A., Fort Worth, it's, it's on. It's in the middle of it. So yeah. um, let me ask you this. Was there a lot of conflict? with the bloods that you when you was there or were you cool with any bloods well uh i knew some right and uh but like you say uh 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 it would go down right yeah it would go down time to time right you know what i mean yeah, yeah. which is gonna happen when you put a bunch of testosterone right in in the same place right. a bunch of right. bulls they gonna fight right right so yeah. now i one thing about prison that I've always been interested in is did you ever meet any of them dudes who had been down there since the 70s and all that kind of stuff? Yeah. Uh, and what were they like? Well, uh, not the 70s, right. but uh, I've met people that's been locked up 30, 40 years. I've talked to them and. Like had already been locked up 30, yeah, 40. Yeah. So, yeah. So, look. Yeah. If you if you if you went ninety two, yeah. thirty forty years prior to that is right. the sixties and seventies. Okay. 70s. okay. Well, so yeah, yeah that so they they've been down right. yeah they've been yeah. down there that long. Okay. What what are they like? Like are they still mentally stable people or are they completely lost it at this point? No, they are they stable people and uh, uh really those be the ones that try to. Uh, you know, pull you by your coattail and be like, look at how young, uh, you know, uh, I see how you moving, man. You know what I mean? Uh, woof de woof this, you right. know, uh, you know, pump your brakes some, yeah. um, uh, whatever, you know what I mean? So, yeah. no, they ain't on no, uh, 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 they still be intact, man, with their minds. With their minds. Yeah. I just imagine yeah. being locked up that long, yeah. like, you would lose it mentally. Right. Like, yeah, but yeah. there got to be some strong-minded brothers. Shout right. out to them, for yeah. sure. For sure. And free them, yeah. for sure. And I got homies that done did 20-something years, right. 15 years, you know, so, yeah, and they come home and, you know, and, they, and they're productive citizens. Right, so let me ask you this. When you coming home, how long before your release date do it become hard to sleep? If you know your date? Yeah. Oh my God, if you know your date, man, you just, uh, it it don't come fast enough. Right, right. Yeah, it don't come fast enough. Yeah, and you can't, I can imagine you can't sleep, especially the night before. Yeah, oh man. Yeah. Yeah, you anxious, you ready. So I heard they be like throwing parties for you if you somebody, or if you're not even somebody, if you, if you, you know, if you if you got if your name good on the unit and you you know, uh, we might you know what I'm saying put together a big spread. Yeah. You know, put together a big spread and you know what I'm saying stay up and drink coffee. Yeah. And, and uh, drink pretties. That's what we call them, pretties. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying, and just you know, cause some some you don't grew to. Uh, bond yeah. good friendships with you know yeah. what I'm saying people you done met down there or whatever and right. you know you just on some damn bro you know yeah you know, I'm a you know, damn, I can't wait I, to you know, get up out of here yeah, but I'm gonna well, miss you damn, money yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying I, leaving you behind type yeah. shit but I got to go you know yeah. what I'm saying so yeah it's well yeah man uh yeah it's 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 definitely you anxious right so let me ask you this what is the very first thing on your mind. I've heard different answers, but as far as for OG Lil Dog, what is the very first thing on your mind when you get out? Like, 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 you know, some, some say, man, hey, I got, I got to, I got to, I got to have me some. Some <laughs> yeah. say, man, yeah. I'm finna go eat something yeah. good because yeah. I haven't had no quality food right. in years. Right. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Some yeah. say, man, I got to go see my family or right. whatever. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's, what's first on the list? My the first thing I wanted is I wanted to get something good to eat. Yeah. Something that I hadn't had. Right. And uh 
Yeah, I I had to have that meal, man. I just need, I needed that taste, and uh, it's gonna trip you out what I wanted, man. Yeah. I wanted a I wanted those McDonald French fries. Yeah. Like man, yeah. I I just man, my mouth was watering trying to. Yeah. Well, I wanted them French fries so bad. Yeah. 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 Oh man, I bet I bet it's I bet it's crazy. <laughs> and then so now let me ask you this: Are you why you locked up? Are you staying updated on what's happening in the streets? I know some people say, man, it's best to detach from the outside world when you're in there because your time will go by faster. Right. Some people, you know, can't do that and, and got to call home and check in nah. and be, stay updated with what's going on in nah, the streets. I really, I really didn't know what was going too much going on in the streets. I mean, uh, aside from, uh, 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 you know, letters Major and whoever events, was yeah. writing me and sending pictures and yeah. stuff like that. But as far as what was just going on in the streets, no, nah, I didn't, I was doing my time. I didn't need to, you know you what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's true, it's true then, it's best to detach. Yeah. And for me. Yeah, 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 it okay. Was, it was it's, best for me. Right, 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 right. okay, yeah. okay. Everybody do time different, right. you, yeah. you know? Cause, when we was down there, wasn't no phones. Yeah, wow. Yeah. So you're not even calling home? No, nah, you, you would get to get a phone call and you'd have to go down to the uh down to the warden's office to use the phone and i think they let you call every 90 days or some shit like that wow no, there wasn't no phones when i was down there wow okay yeah. okay cool so now you getting out right so you're not really staying updated on you know oh let me ask you this okay i heard that something let's say let's say a major player from the set get killed on okay. the streets. Okay. I heard that the word the word traveled through the pen, dang it, they're faster than the streets. Yeah, uh for the most part, yeah. Uh you do hear you do hear about what's going on on the streets. Like if it's like you, a major you know, event. Yeah, yeah, you know, you go yeah. But uh as far as worrying about what's going right. on in the streets, right. It you ain't. know, nah, I I I I tuned out to that. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One last thing, and we're going to transition out of prison. Okay. Uh, and this is a big topic, and I think, I think a lot of people need to hear this. Okay. Okay. What, 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 what happens to your relationship with females when you go to the pen, right? Uh, can you worry <laughs> about them? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know what they can do, right. but uh, uh, I didn't. Right. You know what I mean? Because... Uh, a woman gonna be a woman, right? And uh, and you crazy to think uh, uh, she has womanly needs, right? And if you're gone multiple years, uh, you'd be crazy to think she didn't, you know, Fulfill those satisfy, right. you know, so. needs, right? But you do. It's it's instances where they do, you know. But uh, I mean, hey. You what know, you for each his own, you know right. what I mean? So yeah. let me ask you this, because I, I hear some dudes say, well, shit, they recognize that. Okay. But they say, shit, as long as she answer the phone when I pick up and keep money on my books. Right. I ain't doing no trip. And that's and, and that's where your mind really should be. Right. That's how it should be. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, hey, you don't do what you do. You know, it belongs to you anyway. Right. You know, but you know, long as she looking out for you, man, don't rock the boat. Right. Because if you uh, if you run her away, you might not have nobody in your corner. Right. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. So now let's talk about you out of prison. You getting out of prison? Okay. Are you in your mind frame? Because I because one thing I want to make a point in this video too is you didn't go to jail on no gang banging stuff. Okay. You went to jail on some hustling stuff. Right. So, are you are you still coming out of are you coming out of prison like man I'm done gang banging or are you coming out like like oh man OG little dog or you or maybe and I'm gonna say back then maybe you you not OG little dog yet because right. you still you know what I'm saying yeah so it's like it shit hey dog pound back like right. you know what I'm saying I'm finna go back to the hood and uh, you know what I'm saying right. or or was you like man. No, nah, man, I've, I've, I've always been... Uh, and I'm talking about the first time you got out, too. So when you okay. got out in 97, okay. right? Okay. okay. Yeah. No, nah, uh, nah, I didn't get out on no uh, uh, gang-banging shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got out and uh, trying to put my life back together. Right. You know, 
and uh, and that's what I did. Right. Okay. And that's what I did. Okay. So, as far as the hood, how the hood? Because you've been gone five years. Right. So how? So are you? What's the biggest thing you notice? Like, like damn. This shit is way different from right. when, I, when this this ain't what it was like in '92. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Are you seeing like, man, it's hundred four trade now. It's a hundred right. four trade members. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. I was. It, it was. It was. Uh, it was shocking uh, to see how big the set had got, and uh, they uh, and 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 it was. Yeah, it was it was a trip. Yeah, it was a trip. Things were uh, a lot different. Right. Okay. So, are you feeling like this because you ultimately, and we talking about just the north side, because you you that's your roots. That's right. this this your home. Like right. this you you know right. this your territory almost. Uh-huh. Are you feeling like this? First of all, do they do 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 they know you? Like, cause now we got a whole like kids that was. 12 when you went now they 17 18 or maybe 19 and right. they out claiming faux trade like right. you know what i'm saying yeah do they know you do they know like oh this this, <clears throat> this og little dog like now for the uh for the most part uh they would yeah yeah they would and uh it would be some that didn't but they was told yeah. about right and uh and some i'd meet and are oh, you such and such and are oh, you what's your name, son? Are oh, you such and such? Uh, you know, so yeah. But for the most part, yeah, they they knew who I was. Okay. Uh-huh. So did you have ever have any experience with them to where maybe, maybe they found out late who you was, yeah. and it almost could have been bad for them, or not bad for them, but it almost could have went the wrong way. Oh no. 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 Right. No. Okay. Have you ever had an experience where? People talking about you, not in a bad way, but talking about you, don't know, but don't know that it's you standing there. Like, like you could, you could be at the store and there's two little niggas, like, like nigga, nigga, yeah, nigga on OG little dog. When I see such and such, this, this, that, or, or whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Did you ever have any experiences like that? No, I ain't had no experiences like that. Okay. No. Okay. Cool. So pretty much what I'm getting is when you get back to the hood, you just like, do you? First of all, when you get out, are you back in the hood or you? You know what I'm uh, slowly, slowly but surely. Okay. You know, uh, I I went to work. Immediately went to work. Got on a job, but uh, I was coming back, coming right. back to the hood. I paroled. I didn't parole to the hood. Right. But I was coming back to the hood. Right. Okay. Yeah. Just going up there, chilling for a little right. bit. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so, was there ever any times where you might have felt like, like, man, what the what the what if I started? Like, you know what I'm saying? Or not started, because you didn't start it, but like, like, dang, man, this is probably, this This is a wildfire that I kind of, you know what I'm saying? Nah. No? Nah. Right. And I think that's maybe because of the organization and the, right. you know what I'm saying? It's always kind of been, that's what I've noticed about the North Side and Faux Trade. It's just they, it's, it's, it seemed like it's structure and, right. and checks and balances and stuff right. like that. Right. So... So it seemed like pretty much after you got out, do you consider that retiring? Like you retired? I mean, it's on some. Uh, I'm gonna forever be what I am. Right, right, but right. I'm not active. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, and that's that's that kind of ties into my next kind of thing. Is like a lot of people about OG Percy, they'll say, "Oh, he's a he a 50 year old crip." Okay. And this, that, and the other. Okay. What What do you feel about that? Do you feel like at a certain point a person can be too old to be a crip? I mean, he is what he is. Right. Uh, but as far as promoting it and uh, being active or, you know, uh, you still flagging and, you know, no, nah, uh, it's already understood. It's uh, They already know what you are. Right. So I don't... Me, right. you know, I don't flag and, you know, yeah, this folk trade, they, they already know what it was. Right. You know, so, right. nah, that's, so you don't, nah, you don't got to, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's, that's hard. That's yeah. hard. So, um, hope, so, boom, we're going to wrap it up right here, but I want to say this, like, 
your your last interview right okay. now is 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 climbing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And this one gonna do the same thing. Okay. So look, if you watching this video right now, I'm gonna have a link to it. But OG type in OG little dog and then hit the filter for people. Big Cuz got his own page. He got his own YouTube channel. He gonna start whenever he get ready to. He going to start dropping little gems there, updates there yeah, or whatnot. Yeah, once you teach me. Once you teach me. Yeah, once I show, <laughs> once I show him how to do that. But yeah. ultimately, like, man, honestly, I want to see you on that, on that no jumper table across from Brick Baby and C-Mac representing, you know what I'm saying, representing and educating them because that's all this For channel sure. is about. And that's, you know, all they want to know, too, is just educate us about how y'all coming out there. So, For sure. man, till next time, because, man, I appreciate you for coming back out. Much love. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah.